Yo, what up, y'all? How y'all doing? This your boy, Food Junkie, coming at you on my way to work with another video. You know how I do it. So let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about, um, I was listening, you know, how I do it. I go in one time, go to different, you know, content creators' channels, just listen to what they talk about, be it from the night before or be it from early morning, wherever the case may be. Watch a couple people go to work, watch a couple people, you know what I'm saying, um, run their errands, do their things, you know, as they make videos, I watch it. Well, today, I was watching a YouTube content creator video, and they said something that was kind of poignant, that I found very, very, very interesting, and that was, people have a feeling of being left out, and they know how they feel to be left out, or how they feel of being left out, because... As a child, they were left out, you know. And that was from Miss D. Ramsey, you know. If you watch her, you know how intuitive she is, how spiritual she is, and you know her story as well. So that part of her um, live kind of touched me because it was something that I kind of connected to. Not because I have the feeling of being left out, because, you know, I've always been one person to really not care what people think of me or what people feel about me, whatever. I've always been somewhat of an independent thinker my entire life, you know. I've never relied on what someone else thought about me or what someone else felt about me because it wasn't important to me. What you do doesn't really affect me one way or the other. Once I got past a certain point in my life and age, you know, like really young, I was proud of them, see. 200 years old or so when I started saying, you know, I'm gonna fuck you. Before then, I would just fight you, and whatever you said about me was not, doesn't mean anything, because you got your ass beat by somebody, you know what I'm that you was talking about, <laughs> you know, but that's not what it was back in the day, you know, but there's a lot of content creators or content creators who use other content creators as their content, which is fine, it's what you do, it's what I do actually, you know, but I'm from some part of my um, content on, on this channel. I talk about what has been happening, what's been going on. But what I try to do actually is put my spin on it, put my take on what I've seen, what I've observed, and things of that nature. While I think a lot of other content creators just basically just go on this rampage and start talking about people, not adding anything to the situation or their own independent thought, but as to just try to break someone down or beat someone down or talk about somebody to the point to where they can get a response. And that's not my intent, that's not my journey, because I really don't care enough about you to get a response from you, because what you see to me or about me don't mean anything to me, as what I say about you should mean anything to you. It's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it, you know what I'm saying, and I'm going to speak it regardless if you like it or not. But there's a couple of people that's going on on these YouTube streets that's teaming up, that is trying to get together with one another to take other people down, or another group down, I should say. Now, while I support and appreciate team chat, or club chat, I should say, I wouldn't call myself an official member of club chat. But I'm always in Sean Bradley's um, lives. I'm always on his channel watching the stuff because I've always been there for Sean Bradley. I like Sean Bradley's content. I like Sean Bradley's personality. I like a lot of members of club chat and how they move and how they can handle themselves, how they stand in their own truth and their own shit. You know, and if you are not about that, it's revealed and you're gonna remove yourself from that platform. And I like that aspect of club chat. So I guess in essence, I am a member of club chat, I guess, you know, when I'm over there. But this, is a, this isn't an advertisement or, or a commercial for club chat or even a clout chase for anyone over there, you know, including and not limited to Sean Bradley because we're both men, you know what I'm saying? I don't follow behind men. I'm not a follower. I'm an independent person, an independent thinker, a critical thinker. So I watch how Sean moves and he tells you who he is. It's your job to believe it or not to whatever you want to do. But you can't get mad if he does something that you don't like or that you may think he should do. He's an independent person. He's going to do what he wants to do. 
such as a lot of people over there at Club Chat. They're going to do what they want to do. If they want to give Super Chats to Sean, they, they give Super Chats to Sean. If they want to, you know what I'm saying, support and build him up, that's what they do, that's what we do. But I support and build up everybody that I like, you know. Um, today, I was on a YouTube content creator's um, live chat, and he caught one of my live videos, we followed a couple of my videos last night, and today he made me a um, moderator for him. It wasn't expected, it wasn't asked for, it, but, it was, but he was appreciated, and that is that material is looking from afar. You know, I appreciate it, you know, I support what he does, I like his content, you know, I like what he do. We pretty much do somewhat of the same thing. He's about cooking and stuff like that. I'm all about food for your body and for your soul, you know. So we're kind of doing the same type of thing. There's no jealousy there, there's no animosity there. He appreciated what I did. I appreciate what he does. It is what it is. And that's what this YouTube thing is about, you know. Finding people of common ground, of common, you know, decency, common likes, and building upon that, growing from that, being an independent person, being an independent thinker, but yet still finding people that you are like-minded with. So that's just a shout out to Nefertari, you know, looking from afar, you know, and, and I thank you for making me a moderator of yours. I appreciate that. You know, like I said, I wasn't looking for it. I wasn't asking for it, but I definitely appreciate it. I definitely, you know, take that responsibility seriously, you know, to make sure that, you know, I continue to be myself while supporting you and doing what you do. But, back to what I was saying. Looking to fit in and longing for acceptance and things like that. Ms. D. Ramsey made the point of, you know, don't come online and look for that. You're not going to find it here. You're not going to find acceptance from me. Because I'm not here to validate your feelings or your um, strength or your weakness. I'm here to support, be entertained by what I see on this channel. Now, if we become friends virtually or in real life, that happens. But that's not something that I'm seeking or longing for. I'm not a person that needs someone to validate my me. I'm not someone who needs someone to tell me that, oh, you're pretty, you're smart, you was kind, you was smart, you was important. I don't need that from you. You know, if you like what I do, like what I say, if you like the commentary, by all means, please subscribe and support. You know what I'm saying? Continue to watch, or even watch from the bushes, watch from afar, that's up to you. But I don't need someone to tell me that I'm important. I know that. I don't, I don't need someone to tell me that I'm pretty. I know that too. I don't need someone to tell me that well not pretty handsome. I don't need someone to tell me that you know I have a lot going for myself. I appreciate the compliments and I thank you for it and I do hear you but that's not what I get out of bed for. That's not why I turn on this camera. That's why I don't I mean, that's not what I you know what I'm saying live my life longing for someone to tell me that about myself. I know who I am. I know what God made. I know what God has put blessed me with. My parents have reared me up to have confidence, even if they didn't always teach it to me. I saw it based on what they did, how I wanted to feel about myself, and how I wanted to present myself. You know, people don't realize that you can learn from anything. You can learn what to do and what not to do from anything. You can learn how to act and how not to act from anything and anyone. No one had to always tell you, so this whole adage of, well, they were raised right. Well, you know how you want to feel. You know how you want to present yourself. Go on those instincts. Go on that type of situation because, as Ms. D. Ramsey said, she never had a lot of friends. She had one best friend growing up. And if you know her story, she had a kind of really troubling life. But to not know her story and just to look at her and to see her and watch her and talk and to speak, and just listen to her speak, you would never know that her life was as bad as it was because she doesn't let that baggage from her childhood hold her back in her adulthood you know and she talks about it you know what I'm saying to remind herself I feel this may not be true this may be true but she talks about it to remind herself of where she came from and how far she has come 
but yet still remembering she has a lot further to go because none of us are perfect none of us are um, going to be you know where we are where we want to be all the time there's days where we're almost there there's days where we have a lot further to go you know but the thing about that is being honest with ourselves being honest about who we are what we are what we can accomplish and then working toward being the best person that we were meant to be working toward being your best self at all times you know and I say this because there's a lot of people like I said on plenty of videos before that want to be molded who needs acceptance from other people and large groups in order for them to feel like they're someone to feel like they are somebody important to feel like they you know are worthy of my question is worthy of what it starts with self it starts with self-love, self-acceptance, integrity of self. It all starts with you, with you, with you. <laughs> it all starts with you. It all starts with how you feel about yourself, what you want out of life, what you want out of friendships, what you want out of relationships. And if you're constantly trying to use someone for something, the only person that you're really using is yourself. Because it never works out the way you want it to. It may work out in, on for the time being, but as soon as someone doesn't say or do what you want them to say or do, at that point, it triggers something in you that is longing. It triggers something in you that wants that acceptance. And you call it what you want to call it, but it basically, bottom, bottom line is that. You want someone to tell you that you're special. You want someone to tell you that you are worthy. You want someone to tell you that, yes, they accept you. But if we don't know who you are because you're putting on this facade, we can't do that. And people who are, I hate this phrase, high vibrational, but it is true. People who are living their best selves, their most truest, authentic selves, see through the fake and through the phony. You can call it high vibrational, you can call it high, whatever you want to call it, whatever phrase you choose to call it. But people who are true to, true to self sees the fake and falsehoods in others. We may not be able to put our fingers on it. We may not be able to, you know, um, articulate it at that moment, but it will always reveal itself to us. And they'll be like, aha, that's why I didn't rhyme with so and so. That's why I really didn't mess with, you know what I'm saying, so and so whoever it is and you have these individuals out there trying to attack you know people who are confident professional worthy of greatness and are great because they feel some kind of way about themselves now I don't understand why you making these little short videos talking about people that have nothing to do with you that don't worry about you that's not concerned about you whatsoever. You've been drugged, you've been buried, but that's what you want. This is a masochistic behavior. You like pain. If someone doesn't hit you, you don't believe they love you or care about you. If someone doesn't talk about you, put you down, they can't possibly love you. You know, you don't love me unless you beat me type of mentality. You don't love me unless you hurt me type of mentality. That's that masochistic behavior. You know, you show it to us. You want to be controlled. You want to be talked about. You want to be threatened. That those things build up that adrenaline in you that helps your heart pump faster, help your fluids flow, get you moist, get you wet. Oh shit! You know, opposed to you and some people just being cool with you and liking you for who you are, you think they need to, you know talk about your beat on you or you know saying put you down in order for them to show some type of emotion you're so used to having this negative emotion being shown to you that you can't possibly understand when someone's trying to show good emotions to you and lord behold don't let them ignore you or pay you dust then they must hate you no they are different towards you don't care they don't care about you one way or the other if someone constantly shows me that they don't care about me well it's not guess what I move the hell on. I don't sit up here and allow someone to treat me badly and make me feel a certain kind of way that I don't want to feel. I guess that's the adult in me. 
of just being adulting, you know what I'm saying? The act of being an adult, adulting. You know, that's what that is, I guess. You know, on my part. Children and people with low self-esteem constantly seek validation from others, be it good or bad, you know? And the fact that you didn't get what you want from this individual, now all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's not really all of a sudden. I've been seeing it for weeks now, you know? Ever since Vegas Gate, 2019. What's, what's the real deal? One day you were going, next day you weren't going, next day you were mad because somebody else, quote unquote, took your place. What's the deal? Why is it that you are so upset? You make six figures. You have this abundance of money and wealth and opportunity. You can pay your own way to Vegas. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm asking questions based on what is being shown to me on your platform and these little snippets of commentary that you give out, put out there. You know, why are you so upset? I was wondering why you were so upset with um, a views of you. I'm like, why are you so upset with a views of you? She didn't tell you. She was the one who was supporting you and no one else was supporting you. She had your back, but no one else had your back. Then all of a sudden, everything made sense. Like I said, I may not always have my finger on the pulse of everything all the time, but when I know something's not right, I feel it in my um, spirit. And no, my spirit's not a messy sissy. <laughs> Those who know what that line comes from and why I said it originally, knows it. Those who don't, oh well. You know, your spirit tells you things. Your spirit gives you information that is needed to help you. It's, and it's up to you to act on that information. To act on it in a good way. To make sure that you're not putting out negativity and evil that's out there in the world. You know what I'm saying? That's what your spirit guide is, or your guiding spirit does. You know, it helps you live a better life. It helps you live a more productive life, a more profitable life. You know, what's your spirit supposed to do? Your spirit is not talking about somebody else's sexuality, because the reality is, if you was doing what you're supposed to do in your bedroom, your spirit don't have time to worry about what's like going in that bedroom. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? All knowing, all encompassing, all rational. Just saying, you know. And there's a word that the, that individuals use quite often. I think I have to do a live tonight when I get home from work to break that um, word down. That you know what the real man is, word is. Like I said, this channel is about education. You know, I want you to learn something from watching this channel. I want you to be entertained. I want you to be like, oh, wow, I didn't see things like that. You know, so yeah, there'll be some fun in this video. There'll be some, you know, entertainment. There'll be some meat, mug banging and eating and acting a fool. But also, there'll be some education. I want to feed your mind and your soul and your belly. You know, I want you to, you know, say, be a well rounded individual after watching my channel, after coming to my channel. I want you to get full on information, on food and ideas. I want you to be a well-rounded person. I want you to be a complete person. Because a lot of people out there making videos are broken, fractured, damaged, you know, in need of help. Maybe, mental, maybe mentally, physically, emotionally, socially. Some people need NA and AA. I'm just saying, you know. And hopefully something I say can help you get there. Or help you want to get there, I should say. I'm not a counselor. I'm not here to counsel you. I'm not here y'all are fixing your life. Shit, I gotta fix my own life first. <laughs> we all do. Before we start giving out advice to people. It's pretty good, but yes, it can always be better. You know, I'm in a good situation right now, but it can always be better. And it can always get worse if I'm not careful of what I do, what I put out there in the universe. Yeah, just people who want to fit in. The sense of longing, the sense of, oh, am I going to be accepted? 
we all had that feeling, you know what I'm saying, at one point in our life. We all had that, you know, little naggy feeling that, okay, I'm not good enough. But the majority of people who are adulting, who I think as an adult, you know, that realize that I am good enough. I'm good enough at this moment that I am, at this time that I am. I don't need someone to validate me. I don't need someone to tell me that I am special. I'm smart. Smart, I can say that. But smart was what they use in um, the help. You are smart. You are kind. <laughs> you are important. Set affirmation to yourself. Look in the mirror every morning and tell yourself, you are smart. Kind and you was important. It works wonders. It helps your spirit get nourished. When your spirit is nourished, you want to nourish your body. You want to take care of yourself. You don't result to name calling for no reason. You don't, re you don't result to handwritten receipts and post up computer generated receipts. Imagine going into a store like Newman Marcus or shit Macy's I guess with a handwritten receipt trying to get something in trying to return something trying to get something in exchange for the handwritten receipt that you have in your hand a lot of y'all receipts that y'all say y'all have are handwritten not computer generated not from the actual location that you want to return something from to all these handwritten receipts that you're doing something <laughs> Handwritten receipts. Hashtag handwritten receipts. <laughs> handwritten receipts. Crazy, yo. Crazy. But yeah, like I said, you know, trying to fit in. If you don't fit in in this group, then you go off to the next group. Then you go off to the next person. Trying to get all you can get from them until you burn them dry. Or they shoot you away. what's going on. The only common denominator is you. The only common denominator in all the mess that you involve yourself in is you. Sad. Very, very, very sad. Entertaining. You know. Until I get tired of turning the channel to someone else. Entertaining and less damaged. But thank God y'all do short videos though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't have to stomach so much watching brokenness. But that's a good thing. You see, I did that. I found the positive and the negative that you put out there in the world. The positivity is that you have two short videos which doesn't give people enough time to truly, truly get sick of you and have that stomach time. See how that works? <laughs> but yeah, let me get my mind right for work. As I say, in every video, click my commentary, come to my channel, watch it, watch the videos, if like the content of my videos, subscribe, like, and comment. I look forward to feedback. I like interaction with um, people that watch me. Good, bad, or indifferent. I, I get what I need to get out of it. And I haven't said this in a while, but eat the meat and spit out the bones. Live your life that way. Take in what nourishes you. Take in what feeds your soul, what feeds your body helps you be strong and productive and discard the rest. Eat the meat and spit out the bones. As I always say, love yourself. Love someone else. Respect yourself and respect someone else. Until next time, have a great day. Be blessed. Smile. Hug someone. <laughs> Food junkie, out.